All right, welcome to another episode of my Assassin's Creed now, it's 3 Let's Play. Let's play. Warm weather and bugs are soon to be the least of our worries. What? You mean so, I just got done working at my first job. We'll be an hour and soon one, enough and onto the next. In about an hour, I get to go to my second job. <laughs> so, I figured I'd do a, a little episode of this. Return to finish out his service on the Braddock. I imagine the Bulldog's not too pleased after the stunt we pulled. Pleased to spin a tale of my incompetence and beg forgiveness. He is away with words, especially when it comes to flattery. I expect he'll be welcomed back with open arms. Which would give us a man inside. Precisely. Precisely. Unless you've underestimated our enemy. So we'll interact with the Indian girl. Zeo. I see you've been busy. All these men are from many different tribes, united in their desire to see Braddock sent away. The Abenaki, the Lenape, the Shawnee. And you? Who do you stand for? Myself. What would you have me do? Will you help the others to prepare? Follow. All right, I can't wait until we can get to Connor. Everything all right, sir? Just savoring the moment. No doubt, many wonder why it is we've pushed so far west. These are wild lands as yet untamed and unsettled. But it shall not always be so. In time, our holdings will no longer suffice. And that day is closer than you think. We must ensure our people have ample room to grow and further prosper. Which means we need more land. The French understand this and endeavor to prevent such growth. They skirt around our territory, erecting forts and forging alliances. Awaiting the day they might strangle us with the noose they built. This must not come to pass. We must sever the cord and send them back. This is why we ride, to offer them one last chance. The French will leave, or they will die. Oh, he's such a jerk. Now is the time to strike. Wait, to scatter the expedition is not enough. We must ensure that Braddock falls, else he's sure to try again. I'll disguise myself as one of his own and make my way to his side. Your ambush will provide the perfect cover for me to deliver the killing blow. All right. Well, here we go. We await your signal. Clear the scout camp. There, in front of us. All right, so I need to kill two of these guys without being detected. So what do you think? At this rate, it'll be days before we One. Kill militia without triggering open conflict. We are near 2,000 men. One scout is all they need to know of us. Then what? Swiftness would serve us better. It seems like I have to stay on this side of those hidden Indians. I killed him. I killed two of them, so that's all right. I suck at this game so bad. I can't seem to get the uh, 
keystrokes down. All right. Guess I can't run and walk any faster. How could anyone call this forest home? The French pushed back to be a lot of This part I was never able to do. I've tried it three or four times. And I can't seem to destroy the uh, gunpowder carts. You mean, sir? You are Edward. Not so fun on the other end of the barrel, is it? Sir. Where are you off to? <clears throat> All right, let's see if I can do it this time. Uh, guess I gotta go this way. Ah, I can't seem to get my horse to go fast. I forgot. It's been a while. Can't rear. There's one down. Uh, uh, damn it. Oh well. I guess I won't be getting 100% sync. <laughs> Nothing new. I never took you for a coward, Edward. Come on then! We shot the horse. Such arrogance. I always knew it would be the end of you. Is the end of you. Don't. Hurry before he gets away. I said go! <laughs> She nails him in the head. I don't deserve this. You're a hypocrite, Hatham. I'm sorry, Edward, but you forced my hand. There we go. Never killed him like that before. <laughs> Why, Hatham? Your death opens a door. It's nothing personal. Well, maybe just a little personal. Bit of pain in my ass, after all. But we are brothers in arms. Once, perhaps. No longer. Do you think I've forgotten what you did? All those innocents slaughtered, and for what? It does not engender peace to cut your way to resolution. Wrong. Whether we applied the sword more liberally and more often, the world would be a better place than it is today. In this instance, I concur. In this instance, I concur. All right.
Farewell, Edward. Hmm. Took the ring. It's done. I've upheld my part of the bargain. I expect that you will honor yours. Call me. Interesting. Seem disappointed. Yes, he does. Seem very I disappointed. Thought that I thought I held the key that it would open something here. This room is all there is. I expected more. Looks like the apple will fit in there. It tells the story of your Zizu. Who came into their world and shaped it for what life might come. She had a hard journey, fraught with great loss and peril. But she believed in her children and what they might achieve. And though she is long gone from the physical world, her eyes still watch over us. Her ears still hear our words. Her hands still guide us. And her love still gives us strength. You've shown me great kindness, dear. Thank you. I... I should go. Oh, and I think Connor is going to be conceived. The Braddock Expedition... Eh. Oh well. I didn't destroy three um, gunpowder carts, that's why I didn't get 100%. I'm still not familiar with these controls for this game. They've changed it so much. It used to be simple, now it's more complex. A few days later. Alright, I might as well keep going. What the hell? I guess this is where I need to go. Master Kenway, did you find it then? It was not the right place. The others are waiting for you. Gentlemen. Please, sit. I fear our temple was no more than a painted cave. Although it did contain precursor images and script, which means we are close. Not close enough, it seems. We need to redouble our efforts and expand our order and establish a permanent base here. Although the site eludes us, I am confident we will find it. Truth. Hear, hear. Furthermore, I believe it is time we welcome Charles into our fold. He has proven himself a loyal disciple and served unerringly since the day he came to us. He should be able to share in our knowledge and reap all the benefits that such a gift implies. Are any opposed? Very well. Charles, come, stand. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order and all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. 
and to do so from now until death, whatever the cost. I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. Together, we will usher in the dawn of a new world, one defined by purpose and order. Give me your hand. You are a Templar. Oh, they're Templars. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the Father of Understanding guide us. So one of Desmond's ancestors was Templar. Wait, what? Wow. So he's half Templar, half assassin. <laughs> Wonderful. I feel bad for Desmond. You all saw that, right? Wow. Wow, indeed. The key must be the amulet Haytham took from London. We might know what it looks like, but we're no closer to finding it. Desmond, you need to keep going. Hey, he's your ancestor too. Why don't you hop in the Animus? Really? That's your response? It's like dealing with a six-year-old. What is wrong with you, Desmond? You want to know what's wrong? I'm sick of being treated like I'm not even here. Desmond, do this. Desmond, do that. Desmond, you better figure things out because the sun is going to turn us all to ash. And I know I was really nice to you, but actually I'm just another Templar plot twist. And yes, I would like very much for you to be controlled by a magic space wizard so that you can murder me. So there's your answer. I'm sick of being a goddamn pawn. I thought it might be different with you. I mean, you're my father, but it turns out you're no better than the fucking Templars. Oh. Again, you hear me? Everything I do, everything I have done, has been for you. Maybe I pushed a little too hard, asked a little too much, but try and remember exactly what's at stake here. You need to get it together, kid. We're running out of right. time. Was unusual. Well, I'm just going to pretend that this never happened and get back to bringing everyone up to speed on where we stand. The news isn't good. It appears this temple is powered by a collection of, um, well, I guess they're batteries. You found one on your way in, but there aren't any more, at least not down here. Any idea on where we can find replacements? Not yet, so I intend to tiptoe into the Abstergo database. Now, if I can cross-reference these particular devices with their database, then maybe we'll get lucky. See what you can do. Obviously. Anyway, Desmond, we can either take a look around here or we can head back to the Animus. Hmm. Press any button. I guess I'll go back into the Animus. There's nothing here anyways. Just talk. All right. Here goes. Time passed, the child grew inside me, and then he entered the world. He had his father's feature, but not enough of me that he would not appear a stranger. In the end, it mattered little. My people loved him as their own. I miss Haytham sometimes. He may have even loved me in his own way. Maybe he did love me in his own way. So her greatest fear is that her son will become a Templar also. And she's hoping that he doesn't. Her son would be Connor. Right. Well, I think I'll stop it right here. This will be a good place to stop. And we'll see you in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this one. And you all have a great day. Bye-bye.